Can we pull a Ghost Rare from Ghost of the Past, Second Haunting, and can we pull a Dark Magician from the new Battle Chaos, well, old Battle Chaos? Let's get into these and see what we can do. I was kind of nervous about this, um, but let's go ahead and break into it. <clears throat> I'm not even sure what the pack trick is on these, so we're just gonna go ahead and go straight through it. So here we go. Can we get anything out of this first pack? Dynamorphia Sonic. And Ice Jade Creation, there we go, that's a cool one. And we got Shining, here we go, D Head Knot, and uh, there we go, those are the last ones. To the next one, I don't open up too much Yu-Gi-Oh, but I am a huge Yu-Gi-Oh fan um, from back in the day. Um, so I love opening up the new sets. This is from 2020. Um, let's see what we can do in this one. We got Kaiza. End of the line and the zombie vampire and a mad hacker and there are the rest of the cards. Probably because of the lighting but this was a secret rare. The zombie vampire is actually like a $12 card. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve that up and that's definitely going in the binder. Into the last battle of chaos. Let's see if we can do anything. We just got that secret rare so I'm kind of nervous but it's okay. We're gonna keep trying. I love this set because of the Dark Magician. So let's see what we can do. Um, here we go. And a Soul Sweeper. And there we go. Libromancer first appearance. That's pretty cool. And here we go. The rest of the cards. We got Ghost Track Festival, Doll Monster, and a Maple Ray. Romancer was like a two, three dollar card, so we're gonna go ahead and sleeve that one. Um, plus, it looks really cool, so that'll be um, a nice one in the collection. And to me, the main event, here we go, goes from the past two. These only have five cards each, so we have a very small chance of actually pulling any kind of Ghost Rare. But there are a lot of really cool cards in this set, so let's open up the first pack. Here we go, probably gonna fly through these. Not on purpose, just like I said. Um, very small set, so there we go. Math Mech Edition. Tenji Spirit, that's actually really cool. Repta Egg and Contract with the Void and a crazy looking dragon ship. And we are adding the Math Mech and the ship because they were both like $3, $4 cards, so those are gonna look nice in the collection as well. I am a collector, so I definitely wanna collect something with value, but these are also really cool for the next pack. See if we can blow through these. Alrighty. Domain the True Monarch. These cards are absolutely cool. Um, I love the way they look. Box of Friends. That's funny looking. And Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. That's cool. We have a Mecha Phantom right there. That's a really nice artwork. And Vampire Dominant. And with that pack, a couple more going in, a trap and a magic card. These will look nice because I have mostly uh, just regular monster cards in uh, the collection right now. All right, second to last pack, guys. Let's see if we can do anything. I really would love a ghost rare. This is just one box that I bought, not a case or anything. As you guys saw, I only had like seven packs. So of um, the cards today with the Battle of Chaos and Ghost from the Past. There we go, that's a nice one. And we got Jester and a Flute of the Summoning Karibo, that's cool. And there we go, that is the last card. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce all those. Other nice additions, uh, the Flute of the Summoning Karibo is like a $5 card and the Jester is actually almost a $6 card, so those are really, really nice in my binder. And last but not least, the last pack. Let's see what we can do, if we can do anything. I might have to get another box sometime soon, because these hollows are actually really nice, and there's a lot of really good cards in this set. So, um, but it is all new cards. I'm not familiar with any of them, I'm just after the ghosts. So we got Swirl Slime, Wondering King, Chronicle Magician, there we go. Finally a first magician. I don't know if this is worth anything or not, but wow, that is actually really sick. Super happy to finally pull something nice looking. Um, that's gonna add really nice to my binder. And Ghost Trick, Jolhan, and Sanctum of Paris. So here's some of the um, cards in my binder. So guys, even with um, just the few that we pulled, um, you know, especially like the Jester was like a $6 card. 
Um, and then most of these other ones were like two and three dollars. You can actually make money getting Ghost of the Past 2 uh, at 20 bucks a box. Um, I pretty much made my money back, maybe even more. Uh, so go look for those. Those are super cool and you have a high chance of pulling the Ghost Rare, um, which is super cool cards. Um, they have a ton in the set and just a little sneak peek at my back binder page. There are some uh, heavy hitters right there. Um, so stay tuned for the next video, guys. Uh, hope you like the new angle. Hope you like the Yu-Gi-Oh opening. Um, crazy fun set to open up. Uh, hope to do more in the future. Peace.